Michelle Carpinelli <laughs> looks like she has it all. She has a beautiful home, a loving family. But ever since the 52-year-old Carpinelli was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2010, she's been put through the ringer. She's had a mastectomy, a hysterectomy, radiation, and numerous cycles of chemotherapy. Then, a little over a year ago, Carpinelli experienced a different kind of pain. I had pressure on my forehead and headaches, and then just before um, my operation, I uh, had blurred vision in my right eye. Doctors discovered Carpinelli had a brain tumor. She decided to go to the Cleveland Clinic in Ohio to get it taken care of. Carpinelli thought the procedure went well. When I woke up, uh, there was hardly any pain. Um, my headaches subsided. My blurred vision was gone. But recent scans reveal Carpinelli now has another larger brain tumor. It's so close to the original one that doctors aren't sure whether it's scar tissue or a separate growth. So it's back to the operating room for Carpinelli. She says even though she's had brain surgery before... You still feel a little, you know, timid. You know, it's your brain. <laughs> you know, they're gonna open you up and you never know what's gonna happen. So, but... I have faith in Dr. Chen. Dr. Clark Chen is Carpinelli's neurosurgeon. In his office at UCSD Moore's Cancer Center, Dr. Chen talks about the combination of groundbreaking imaging tools he uses to plan his surgery. He starts with an MRI of Carpinelli's brain. What you could see with a conventional MRI is that there's a region of abnormality that seems brighter than the rest. And this, to us, is very worrisome for a metastasis or a form of breast cancer that went to the brain. The tumor is very deep, near the center of the brain. Chen explains the MRI displays only the barest outlines of the tumor and the brain itself. If he were to rely on this image alone to guide him, it would be like operating in the dark. But thanks to a 3D imaging technique called tractography, Chen can superimpose the neural connections in the brain that surround the tumor. And so by looking at this and studying this carefully, a neurosurgeon could get a sense of where the tumors are, uh, where the tumor is located, where the key tracts are located, so that in our mind we could define a trajectory that gets to the tumor without severing any of these tracts. Using these images, Chen is able to chart the safest path to reach the target. You see there is a blue line, and that defines how I'm going to get to the tumor. And as you rotate this around, you will see that that trajectory in no way intersect any of these critical tracks in the brain. Chen will perform the surgery inside an MRI suite so he can get real-time images of Carpinelli's brain. But because of the intense magnetic field in the MRI machine, all of the surgical instruments must be made of plastic. After a small hole is drilled in Carpinelli's skull, Chen will place a special frame around the entry point. Next, he'll attach what's called a controller to the frame. Now, you know that with an MRI, the space is very small, so this is actually far away from the surgeon. So in order to access the controls, we have these controllers that basically serve as extenders. And these are inserted into these grooves. When everything is in place and the images confirm that Chen has found the right pathway to the tumor, he'll use a flexible laser probe to destroy it. Chen is the only neurosurgeon in the world who uses this combination of next-generation surgical tools along with these advanced imaging techniques as his standard of care. Chen says when he first saw the neural structure of the brain displayed on his computer, he knew it would be a game-changer for neurosurgeons. We spend our lives dedicated to neuroanatomy. We do dissections, we visualize, we, we use computer simulations in order to appreciate and understand where these tracks are. And to see that in real life is the face of God. In our next segment, we'll take you inside the operating room as Dr. Chen goes to work on Carpinelli's brain tumor. Kenny Goldberg, KPBS News.